Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a camper that I've been waiting quite a long time for and I get recommendations for RVs with two bedrooms all the time. This RV has two true bedrooms with two full baths, so two places to use the restroom, two places to shower, and it also has a loft. So this would be perfect for like the grandparents, and then, you know, their, their kids with their kids, you know, their grandkids. But anyway, it's the 2023 Sierra 4002 FB. This is their prototype model. So there are going to be a couple little minor changes, uh, but feel free if you're ever in the market, reach out to me and let me know you're interested. I'll definitely pass those along to you as those come out. But if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Really trying to reach 30,000 by the end of the year. I would just love that. But let's go ahead and get on into it. Again, 2023 Sierra 4. 002 FB. The specifications, length, height, tank size, awning size, all that good stuff will be down in the description of the video as well. But right when you walk in, you can see this thing is an absolute behemoth. Even though there's a bedroom back here and you know up in the front and the loft, it still actually is very comfortable in the middle. It's not very cramped. You got the big dual opposing slide, so your cooking slide and your entertainment with the island. And then you kind of have your seating slide and that's where we'll start the tour today. But first I just wanted to point out, you know, all the walking space you have. So it's pretty, pretty nice and accommodating right there for the family as well. Slide height on this just above six feet tall. I'm six foot tall for reference. I'd probably put that somewhere around six, three ish or so. So you don't have to worry about bonking your head. It also allows you to have this absolutely massive window. Love that tinted. Hopefully a place to catch a nice view is where you'll be with it. These windows do open up to make a nice cross breeze. So you can get plenty of wind flow in here, you know, on that nice day. And then of course you got the Dracula shades to block out all the sun so you don't fry up your skin, you know, or any of the, uh, any of the furniture. Four, uh, four top dinette right here. So you can sit down, play some cards, have some dinner, you know, have a good time. This is gonna be one of the changes. They have the pullout sofa in this. They actually are going to the more traditional theater seating. So that was a lot of feedback from the show. I like the fact that they'll have the theater seating directly across from the TV. I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. And with all the sleeping, you don't really need another pullout sofa. Storage here up above, give you a little quick glance of that. It also gives you the textured glass finish. And babe, if you're watching, I love you. Hope you're having a good day. She had her first healing today, so congratulations. She went to a bunch of classes over the year for you know, shamanism stuff and finally got her old certificate. Couldn't be more proud of you. But look at that loft. Now I'm, I'm jumping up here. I'm a big old guy, six foot, 300 pounds. Well, 282 now, but this is that loft. So you get plenty of storage, plenty of outlets, plenty of places to sleep, an emergency exit, window in the back on both sides. Just a really cool area. You know, if you're a kid, that is an absolute paradise right there. You also get some storage as well. It's going to be pretty much looking like that, you know, all the way down. Right here, again, directly across from where the theater seating will be, or a couch on this model if you do buy it. You get an absolutely massive TV that's on a swivel, so you can angle it, you know, whether you're sitting in the, you know, the chairs, or you're at the dinette. Storage up above. The Connex soundbar system to get this room absolutely bumping. And it's got zone A, B, and C, so that's inside, outside, and both sides. DVD player, HDMI part, the works, the aux cord, all that good stuff. Greystone fireplace. Now I can't turn that on right now because I'm on my jump box, but 5,100 BTUs of heat on a day like today, that's 50 degrees. It's going to heat up this entire room. Absolutely no problem. Even the loft, you're going to save a lot of money on propane. Just a really nice feature to have that most of these 23 RVs are coming with anyway. Good countertop space around the oven. They got the gray stone in here, so a little bit bigger than your average RV oven, but not as big as some of them. But you can fit in a couple uh, chickens in there or something, definitely up some pizzas. Three stove top burner, and then you're going to have outlet, outlet, and then plenty of storage, all of which, uh, not all of which, I'm sorry. The bottom four are going to be like this. The top one's going to be just a hair smaller. And if you noticed, when I close that, you do get the soft close on the Sierra, so definitely a higher end finish. I did hear a little rumor too, they're gonna to be changing the cabinets around a little bit. So we'll see how that looks. But that's what that's looking like. You got storage up above as well. 
LG microwave get cooking. Probably enough room for about six bags of popcorn. Everchill refrigerator. It's one of those fancy ones. Looks like a 12 volt too. But you got the safety latch. Let's check that thing out. All right, let's check the specs. Yes, sir, it's gonna be a 12 volt refrigerator. So I like seeing that. So what that is, it's gonna be a residential style refrigerator, but it'll run off of the solar, you know, the truck. Right now, I just got my jump pack turned on and it's running off of that. So it's really nice when you're driving down the road, you'll be able to keep steep stuff cool. It's also not the gas and electric that really has a hard time even keeping frozen stuff frozen. So two trays down here. That middle one, you can partition, you can remove that. So enough room in the fridge and the freezer, you know, for a week's long trip, absolutely no problem. And then you also got yourself a pretty good little food pantry. And then right here, you actually got a little light switch. So you can turn on some LED lights. And as you can see, that actually goes down, you know, pretty deep. Also right here, you got like a little desk area, which I like. You got outlets all up and around, you know, two USB ports, your controls for like your Dometic and then your uh, fantastic fan little shelf where I put my camera equipment and then your control panel for all four of your slides, your lights, your black one and gray, you know, all your tanks, heated holding tanks. So you can use this deeper into the season. And then right here is going to be where you check, you know, all of your tank levels. So gray tank, galley, you know, the water, the battery, black tank, all that good stuff. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, you know, and easy. But now that I showed you that, let's get you back into bedroom number one. I would kind of call this the guest bedroom. You got the kids up above you, but you do have your own spare bath, especially if you got little kids. This is going to be the bathroom you're going to want to use because it has a nice little tub. True queen bed with storage underneath. Then you got, you know, two windows for a nice cross breeze, one for a good view and an emergency exit if you need. They all got the Dracula shades. Flip it around. Going to be the same on both sides. So you have plenty of hanging storage room in here. And then you get kind of the dresser set up. So you're going to get six drawers that are going to be just like that. And then two that are a little bit smaller right there. You also got a little cubby, maybe put a DVD player. And then a massive place to put another TV. And it does have the TV backer. It's going to be a little harder built in right there to hang up your TV. Satellite and cable hookups along with your outlet. Again, same storage, both left and right. So pretty incredible there. And this brings you back into bathroom, uh, the guest bath. You got your own exit right here, so you can open that up and, um, you know, kind of take advantage of coming in and out without dirtying up the entire camper. So I'm a big fan of that. Actually, it looks like it's going to rain, or it is raining. I'm going to close that. You got the sink with some storage here underneath. And then up top, you got more storage, like kind of a medicine cabinet. There's the old bowling gun. The team was stinking for three straight weeks. And yesterday we cracked it. One of my buddies up there is on the team. Last week he bought a 339 in three games. Dude was dying. Last night he hit his personal record, 240. And with his handicap, <laughs> a surge of over 300. So that was pretty awesome. But we creamed that team last night. And that was, uh, it was very enjoyable. Had some celebration brewskis for sure. Oh, shoot, I forgot I changed my wedding ring, the one we're lifting. I put this plastic one on. Sorry, side note. But anyway, solid serve or uh, porcelain throne. Give you another little look here. Then we'll walk up into the other bathroom and the bedroom. And then hopefully if the rain holds off, I'll be able to show you, you know, a little bit here of the, uh, the outside, kind of where all the dump valves are and stuff. This floor plan is going to do very well. Very well indeed. Oh, I forgot to tell you too, you got a fan up there. Keep that airflow, keep the circulation going. I think I might have actually skipped the entire island. I'll get to that right now, I guess. Accent lighting there up underneath. Plenty of storage right here with three pull-out drawers. Top two are going to be a little smaller, the bottom one a little bit larger. Stainless steel undermounted bowl with your high-rise faucet with a little snake. Hitting those dishes from all angles. And then underneath here, you have access to your plumbing and some additional storage. All right. Sorry, right. You can miss some stuff from time to time. I like to tell people that come in here in person, 
uh, that they hired me because I'm friendly. Right down here you get a little night light and a fuse box, so if for some reason something isn't working, make sure to check in there. It'll yell at you if a fuse is busted, it'll glow up nice and red. You got a nice grab handle, your Furion gas water heater, everything, all your controls are going to be right there. Another big old window, hopefully for a good view, let some natural light in, you know, or you can block it out. Central vac system here on the floor. Decent sized bathroom for sure, and since primarily just two of you are going to be using this, it's really all that you need. Another porcelain throne, towel holder, place for some storage, another fantastic fan there to suck out the steam or the stink. And then you got a little skylight, good sized bathroom, fancy looking little knobs right there, you know, spraying out the hot or cold water. My wife likes to take those cold showers. I don't know how she starts her day like that. It's just, uh, sounds awful. Triglide glass series. So for the bigger guys, you know, I'm a rounder. I'm a roundy myself, so I appreciate features just like this. But, you know, it allows it to, uh, to open up just a little bit more. A little storage there. Again, you got another mirror. And if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button for me, I would greatly appreciate it. That brings us into the bedroom. So again, storage up underneath. You have outlets on both sides. So this side's gonna have two outlets, two outlets, and then it's gonna have two USB ports. Another control for your other AC, which is located just above the bed, and it's got a little dump valve right here. So this is setting to open. When it's open like this, it'll disproportionately blow all the cold air into this room, making it nice and cool. Now when you close it, it's gonna run it just along the track system and everyone's gonna get kind of even cooling. So you can kind of choose if you want your, uh, you know, your guests or not to get, uh, you know, that extra cooled. Dresser set up right over here and an emergency exit. So pull, push and pop, you can get out in a hurry. But down here, you're gonna get two of these and two of those. And again, they're all on that soft close. Another place for a TV backer, along with your appropriate plugins. And then you got the front closet. Not only is it pretty darn good size, you got your King Wi-Fi connection. Go ahead and hit up like AT&T or Verizon, get some 5G or 4G LTE attached to it. But you also got the hookups for a fully stackable washer and dryer. So you can use this side for washer and dryer, and then the cubby side kind of for storage and clothing. Or, you know, you have the hanging rack all up and around. So pretty nice size uh, closet for sure. But all right guys, again, this was the 2023 Sierra 4002 FB. Hope you guys enjoyed the inside portion of this tour. Hope you guys hit that like and subscribe button, stick around. But now I'm gonna head around the outside for as long as the old rain ski will hold off. It's sprinkling, so I think I might be in the clear. What's going on, man? All right, so right in here, you got your pass-through storage, your battery disconnect. It also shows off the aluminum frame, which is welded at all points. And you'll also notice that you're not seeing any of the wood. So you got that Luma foil right up there. That is for added insulation and just in general, just you know, not exposing any of the RV. Two outlets and another cable. You got the true metal slam latch doors right here. Behind here, you got some propane. The Rhino pin box, that's why you had such a big front closet. And then right here you can see you got the front storage with your battery hookups, you got my jump box, and then your spare tire. Again, all the specifications of the unit, like awning size, tank sizes, you know, all that good stuff will be down in the description. Right here are your outside marine grade speakers, so you don't have to worry about the rain or getting them wet. It is prepped for the, Fur the Furion 4 camera safety system. So there'll be one here, one on the other side of the camper, one just above the door, and then one off the rear. It runs you about a thousand bucks or so to have that installed. At the very least, people like to put on uh, just the rear observation. Spray port for some water access, outlets to plug in maybe a spare TV, solid steps, dual axle, LP Quick Connect is going to be right there. We see that little tag. So that's nice. If you want to hook up a grill, taps right into the uh, propane. 
That's going to be where you put that backup camera on there if you want. $550 if you just want that one individual one, by the way. And the Lippert on-the-go ladder system. So you can purchase that $280 through Lippert's website. But you connect a telescoping ladder that comes down so you can get on top of this fully walkable roof. Check your seals and check your slides. You know, make sure nothing's going on. Also on your slides, you can add on a slide topper, which is basically a piece of awning uh, that goes on top of the slide to prevent it, you know, from like debris or anything. As you could imagine, a tree branch landed on that, pulling it in, clogging things up, you know, creating a bad day. But I think I'm going to have to rush. This rain is picking up on me here. But you got some of your dump valves. And then uh, you got your low point drains right over there and your other sewer connection. Back end of the Furion hot water system. That's going to be where you're going to plug in your 50 amp cord. Your solar charge controller, so that way you know, you know it's charging up your battery on a sunny day. Hopefully a little nicer than this when you're camping. And then your auto level. Uh, let's see what kind of leveling we got here. Yeah, you got the electric auto leveling, a couple lights, and again showing off that construction. Now right here is going to be your docking station. So you got your water filter, your hot and cold water shower for outside, sh outside shower access, you know, clean off the kids gray and your uh, your black tank valves, all your cable hookups, and then all of your city valves like your power fill tank and all that good stuff. And then right there is going to be a black tank flush uh, for your system. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. You also got nice sturdy sidewalls. You see how they're not budging or pushing? That's because they're fully laminated sidewalls as well. But all right guys, my name is Hunter. This was the 2023 Sierra 4002 FB. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Two full baths, two full queen beds, and a loft. Pretty awesome floor plan. Maybe drop a comment. Let me know what you think. But have a good night. See ya.